Hello there, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here, Capricorn. I'm here with the second half of your reading, getting some messages out for you. This is going to be a really quick reading, so listen closely. Thank you so much for being here. Remember that this is a general tarot card reading, it's not personal, so all the messages may not apply to all of you. So take what applies and the rest, let it fly. Now let's get started. We have the tower crash, something ending, crashing and burning. I, it's not, it's not. It's like something ending. It feels literally like a collision and people flying out of cars. It feels like something is shaking and people flying out of buildings. Like I, I, I know that this is what this is what the car looks like, but I've never gotten that energy. As, as, a, as a collision it's a collision or a, a shake and that causes people to actually move so it's that kind of a tower energy it's that kind of an energy of ending where it's a collision or a, a disaster or a shake up a shake up something shook up it could be a work a blast it could be at home it could be a separation but it's like um it's not it's like it's it, it wasn't really left to the people in the situation it's the external environment that caused this breakup okay so people were basically running for their lives here that's the energy i'm feeling we have the nine of pentacles your challenge your obstacle this could be this could be a fire a literal fire a hazard the nine of pentacles is your energy capricorn some of you could want an ending to a relationship, a partnership, or a way, or a, a, a situation with another person. You may want to be free, single. Some of you want a new beginning, but you may you may not be speaking up and saying this clearly. But in your heart, or your intuition, or some deep down feeling somewhere within your body, you know there's something in you that's saying, "I'd like to be single, or be free, or be alone." There's something you want to release. But it's like you're not allowed to have this freedom. But with the two of the two the two of swords, it feels like you're not seeing how you truly feel, Capricorn. You're walking around with your mouths closed, with a lid on your emotions, and just living every day as if this is what you want. But the truth is, I feel your obstacle could be the nine of pentacles is also something having to do with the money and security here financial stability and this could be an end to your financial instability okay something halting it's like a halt a crash a collision something coming to a, a, a halt two people may be colliding or meeting today and it could have come out of a complete unexpected turn like you went out of your way and do something you wouldn't normally do. You walked a different direction, perhaps something happened and you had to take the bus. And it's the same thing that happened to this person. And that's how you meet. Or that's how you get this, this job. Some of you want to move on, move out, or want to separate. Some of you are working on building something, a home, a job. And now we have the Queen of Swords. This could mean that uh, something is about to get blocked, a blocking, or someone is focusing or watching or blocking or overseeing something and offering a separation from a relationship in the home, a separation, because I'm seeing separation here twice with the five of pentacles and the tower. Someone may be separating from someone and, be, and going off to be single. Someone may be offering their love to another person here someone may be meeting their soulmate it's like two different energies here some people are separating to go meet their soulmate and some people are literally happening up on their soulmate your hopes and your fears having to do with money and business work self love value security maybe some of you are not feeling safe and secure in a relationship so you want to disconnect but it's like you 
have invested a lot here already okay some of you want to invest literal money because this could have capricorns like money and work okay so it's fine it has to do with your finances so it could be an end to the way how you handle your finances and you're coming into your financial stability there's something else behind this tower card here too it's like i feel the bank energy something blew up that caused maybe may want to um it's like this nine of pentacles is in your challenge area but it's something blowing up or ending may push the force may cause something to work out in your favor and you'll come into your financial stability it's as if a truck turns over with gold and there's a lot of gold and gold for everyone all right and so this is it's like a lock it's like a spun um it's something that happens like that truck turns over and, and all of a sudden you're grabbing money you you want some money okay you're also looking for some spiritual guidance and advice here too there's something that you're building. You want something new. See the end. There's, there's so many cards of an ending here. And then we have the three of swords on the bottom of the deck. This could be an ending to a relationship, an ending to a business, an ending to a way of thinking. We have the three of swords here. You could be blocking someone in love. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be a past person's energy. Mm -mm. And so we have the five of pentacles repeated again. So this feels like walking away to or walking toward the better version of yourself. The death energy. I'm going to clarify that. Angels, spirits, guides, please do help me to clarify the death energy here. The death is Cancerian energy. Moving away, walking away, clearing out, ready for the new. It's like feng shui, you know, clearing out old items and feelings that you don't need. It's with this page of pentacles energy, releasing, learning more about yourself and then releasing. It could, be have, it could have to do with your money, as I say. Something ending that, that may be an obstruction within your finances flowing to you. And it's ending. All right. So it, you can become, you can come into financial balance. What is the death energy? Angels, spirits, and guides, please do clarify this death energy. What is this transformation? Healing. It feels like healing. I see the sun rising over yonder. It feels like a new day. I do hear healing. I do feel energy clearing up. Like someone had parasites and, or you had, um, Basically, parasites clearing up out of you. It could be could be mental. The an ending crushed because this could be detox as well. Clearing out some parasites out of your system, blocking, and it feels energetic. And this has to do with your mental state, the things that you accept, the things you tell yourself, the things that cause you pain. Parasites. All right. So I'm leaving this here. Thank you so much for watching. Capricorn, I do hope you found messages here that are able to help you along your journey. If you did, go ahead and compliment my video by leaving a thumbs up behind, sharing the video with your, those you love and care about, and also subscribing to my channel for whenever I upload new messages for you. All right. I will see you next time. Remember always that you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world that you desire, Capricorn, because you are all and all is within you. Last message is here. I feel something fortunate coming up for you when it ha having to do with your money, your business, your dreams, whatever you're working on. Stay focused and steadfast in your spirituality. Follow your heart and um, continue to be brave. All right. Seek the answers that you need. Thank you so much. Much love to you. Namaste.